Howdy! Thanks for learning about MS with me, Aaron Boster. In this video, we're going to be diving into a new frontier in MS therapy, CAR T-cell therapy. You may have heard of CAR T-cell therapy being used to treat certain types of cancers, but what could it do for MS? Could this be a future game changer for people impacted by MS? Now don't turn away, because we're going to be talking about that starting right now. CAR-T therapy stands for Chimeric Antigen Receptor T-cell Therapy. So, in simpler terms, we take a patient's immune cell out of their body. In a laboratory, we genetically reprogram it to recognize and attack a harmful target, and then we stick it back in the body so it can fight off a disease. The term chimeric comes from the Greek mythological creature, the chimera, which was a being made up of different animal parts. And this really references how the CAR-T cells have been engineered with new parts to perform their specific new tasks. This therapy has already seen amazing success in treating some refractory blood cancers, certain types of leukemia and lymphoma. For example, there's been medically refractory B-cell lymphomas, which have literally been cured using CAR-T therapy. Now these successes in oncology are paving the way for CAR-T cell therapy to be used in autoimmune conditions like multiple sclerosis. And it gives us a glimpse of what we might be able to see if we were to use this therapy for MS patients. Multiple sclerosis is an autoimmune condition where the immune system, which is supposed to fight off foreign invaders and leave you alone, makes an error in judgment and attacks your brain and spinal cord, causing neurological damage like blindness, weakness, or numbness. CAR-T therapy may provide a revolutionary intervention to treat multiple sclerosis. So here's how CAR T-cell therapy could work in the setting of multiple sclerosis. Scientists would remove T-cells out of the person's body and then in a laboratory genetically modify them and give them new instructions to identify the harmful components of your autoreactive immune system. We would then put them back into the body where those new CAR T cells could float around and identify those naughty autoreactive components in the body and then neutralize them. Importantly, this approach is highly specific, really targeting just the autoreactive cells and sparing the healthy cells in the body so that you can reduce the risks of immunosuppression. This differs massively from our current approaches to treating MS. Currently, most of our most effective therapies work by suppressing the immune response, by dampening the entire immune response, which helps the autoimmune process, but it can increase the risk of infection. And there's other issues with immunosuppression. Some of our most effective therapies, things like a stem cell transplant, are really sort of like setting off a bomb and just destroying the entire immune system. CAR T-cell therapy is very different because it's precision medicine. It's really only targeting those cells of interest in preserving the rest of the body. That's a really, really attractive potential option. Some early clinical investigations look very, very promising for CAR T-cell therapy in multiple sclerosis. Now, while these studies are very small and they're preliminary, they give us a glimpse of what CAR T-cell therapy might be able to do to treat multiple sclerosis. The potential benefits of CAR T-cell therapy for MS would be to create a highly targeted therapy, literally precision medicine, which could help the person impacted by MS for a prolonged period of time without ongoing immunosuppression. That sounds really, really attractive. There are some very significant risks, however, that we have to consider. Those would include the risk of infection, the risk of a cytokine release syndrome, and the therapy is extremely expensive. Cytokine release syndrome is where the immune system massively overreacts, it can make the person super sick, and you can have profound fever and fatigue. This needs to be treated with prompt medical attention. In the early trials that I mentioned, we saw cytokine release syndrome in about 20 to 30% of patients. And so this is a very serious risk which would have to be addressed if CAR-T therapy is gonna become available to treat MS. Another significant hurdle is cost. Precision medicine is super expensive because you're crafting a therapy which is specific for that individual, genetically modifying their T cells to do something specifically for them. And so one of the things that will have to happen is we'll have to come up with a way of creating CAR T cells which are much more affordable. Looking ahead, researchers are working to refine CAR T cell therapy to make it less expensive, 
to make it safer, and to make it more available. And its implications for autoimmune conditions like MS are profound. Now this is still really early days. This is far away from being prime time. Likely, we're gonna see the development of phase two and phase three trials kicking off over the next several years. And it would be a hopeful reach if we could see something like CAR T cell therapy become available for families impacted by MS over the next decade or so. Will CAR T cell therapy be a new innovation in the setting of MS and revolutionize how we treat the disease? I'm not sure yet, time will tell. But I am super excited about the potential for specific targeted precision medicine to treat families impacted by MS. I'd like to hear from you. What excites you the most about the potential of CAR T-cell therapy for MS? Is it its precision medicine? Is it the innovation of treating without suppression? Or is it the broad reaching approach which could impact all autoimmune conditions? Leave a comment in the section below and let me know your answer. If you'd like to up your game and learn more about multiple sclerosis and how to treat it, click the video that's on your screen right now. As always, thank you for learning about MS with me. And until my next Monday morning video or my next monthly live stream, or even better yet, the next time I see you at the Boster Center for MS, this is Aaron Boster saying be safe and take care.